Oh, you can probably hear me now. Good morning, everyone. Um, this is Alex does Sudokus, and we have a uh, well, still not the best. Oh. Well, it's bedtime soon for you, isn't it? So hopefully you can um, feel better after you have a good sleep. Um, so, um, let's see, I just need to find my browser. There we go. Okay, so hello everyone. Um, this is Alex Dasudokus and it is Thursday the 12th of November 2020 and we are going to do some New York Times and LA Times Sudokus and since I'm not working today I can start with the easy Sudoku just as a warm-up so um, oops no, is that right? There we go. Um, get rid of the early times one. Okay, so let's do some Sudokus. Um, so, we, oh no. Yeah, we can see a one that's locked in there, there, there. Let's just do some warm ups. Um, maybe that's the thing. I've not been warming up the last few days. And maybe, oh, hang on, that can't be right. Two, oh, what's going on? Oh, there's already a two there. That, that would be why. This is why I need a warm up just to work my brain up. Um, I'm so spoiled by Sudoku players having mics. Why? Why are you spoiled? I thought we all have mics. I'm spoiled by you having mic as well. Um, four. So fours are locked in these two cells, but I can't deduce that yet. Oh, we can't deduce a four yet, so what about the fives? Fives, you can place another five there, five there. There must be a five on this column. So, I think that's sort of fives that I can do for now. So, sixes, that's a six, that's a six. So, how how are you doing, um, Juice? Have you had a good day so far? Did you do any more? How's the borderland level up going? There are at least two Sudoku streamers that don't have mics. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, of course. I did see um, in my emails that... Um, what's his name? Was it... Hold on. Let me check my... Twitch. Because um, I have him on follow, haven't I? Well, I have them on follow. I don't know if they're boy or girl. Um, JC Hung. Um... Yeah, because they don't have um, a mic, do they? So maybe maybe we should start a charity to um, charity fund that basically buys mics, USB mics, um, for Sudoku streamers so that we can hear everybody else. That would be useful, wouldn't it? And of course, I jump straight to charity because I work in a charity, so I know some legal stuff, I suppose. Um, yeah, basically kind of see life through the lens of a charity, so. Um, I'm still trying to decide whether to go through the hassle of using my nice mic for Sudoku. Oh, have you got a new mic sorted, Juice? Because um, I know you said, um, oh, is it because you, your mic broke that um, you're not sure whether you want to get a new one so that you can stop using your Bluetooth one? Any mic is a good mic for Sudoku, yeah. I mean, my mic is pretty bad, and um, the sound quality is pretty terrible, as you guys might have noticed. Um, so yesterday I was um, watching, whilst I was still working, I was um, kind of asking other streamers, um, I was following, what was her name, Gen64, who plays like N64 game. Oh, I get it now, Gen64, N64. I'm not very good with puns, so completely missed the pun. I have to tell her that I figured out her, the meaning of her username. Um, but yeah, um, she plays N64 games and um, she has this like really crazy mic setup and uh, it just looks really cool and expensive. 
So I just ended up asking her, like, what is she using? And I'm hoping to... I mean, I've got things like um, a mic arm and, um, and a pop filter, but my mic itself is a bit rubbish. I sound human, that's the, all that matters. Uh, thank you. I'm glad I sound human. And um, although I would love to be able to sound like Siri just to freak people out a little bit. I saw this video the other day of um, someone who um, respond to telemarketers with um, by imitating the voice of Siri and it's hilarious. Uh, no, I have a nice audio setup for, of course, recording your instruments, but it's on my girlfriend's computer, not mine. Ah, but, because I, when I was talking to um, people on the other streamers chat, um, I want to hear you play Juice. Yeah, we want to hear you play. So, um, I mean, unless she's also doing, um, doing music instruments, if she's streaming her music, then I can imagine um, a like, human version of Siri. <laughs> That's good to know. Um, so I might as well come clean as well. This is not my real voice. Um, I actually use something to tweak my voice. So, um, so the voice you hear is not actually my voice because I have um, voice dysphoria. And um, so yeah, I, I use a voice changer to tweak my voice, which is why if you, I think Juice knows this because um, Juice, you've seen my, um, my Hades stream, haven't you? You can hear that. Are you, I have a different voice on my Hades um, recordings and um, oh I just realized I'm doing the medium Sudoku without really talking through what's going on so I've got eight locks a point a pair of eights and now I've got eights down here so that locks another eights down so I've just kind of been going through ones two yeah I've been scanning oh I did put a four down as well because I've got four different fours locking a four in this cage so but yeah, you should definitely um, do some musical instrument play as well, Juice, because, um, what was I going to say? So I think I mentioned a while back that um, my charity, um, the charity that I work for, um, is the reason I started, um, started streaming, because um, I've been kind of like telling them, you know, the gaming community and the, tw and the streaming community is massive. And um, and people raise a lot of money online, basically. And um, oh, don't worry, it's something that I just deal with, basically. I'm I'm 40 years old, and I've always hated my voice. And um, I've only come to like realize why I hate my voice recently, um, in the in the past few years. And um, but with the advances of technology, I'm able to hide it from the internet at least. <coughs> So, um, okay, so I think I need to do some pencil markings on medium Sudoku because um, maybe just because I'm chatting that I'm, I'm missing some obvious signs, but I can't really see much more from this Sudoku. Um, so let's do some pencil markings. But yeah, um, I've been trying to convince my charity to look into gaming and streaming, but obviously that was a few years ago when I started talking about it and... Um, and now, um, looking at the streaming community, it's not even about, um, it's not just about gaming. The, like one of the charity streams that I followed the other day, it was um, just someone crocheting stuff. And um, she was just talking through, I don't know, she was just chatting to, chatting to the audience um, whilst crocheting. I think she was crocheting something like Halloween related. I can't remember now, but it was really cool. Because I've been saying to them that, I've been saying to my work, you know, don't just focus on gamers because, um, you know, first of all, gamers are just people. So stop being scared of them. They're not weirdos. Um, and secondly, um, you know, people do different things on stream as well. So um, going back to why I mentioned that, it was because, yeah, I think, um, I think I assume there are musicians on, on stream as well. I know there's, um, on Reddit, there's this girl who plays the piano. And because uh, Reddit has started doing um, doing live videos as well, allowing people to do live streams as well. But I think it does it in a really interesting way where, uh, I mean, it's the way of monetizing it basically. But I think people have to like 
give rewards or something like that to keep the stream going. So if people don't, then um, your stream will eventually run out of time and then um, cut off, basically. So I guess it kind of like forces a, an element of people making the streams interesting. And yeah, there are quite a few mus musicians on there. So if you ever, if you ever um, want an audience, um, it may even be bigger than bigger than Twitch because um, there seems to be more musicians on Reddit, and I think um, it's more, almost like busking, I suppose. You just play music, and then um, if people like it, they kind of like pay money towards your stream, and then. Um, but I don't know if you get the money afterwards as well because I think it's just Reddit's way of um, making money. So, there are lots of mu musicians stream. They're blowing up fast. Yeah, and I certainly see a lot of. Um, people on YouTube as well so yeah so you should definitely do do a, do a jamming session um, okay so oh yeah and you haven't answered me what level are you on um, how are you get, getting on with Borderland so okay let's concentrate a little bit for my YouTube audience sorry about that um, so let's do some pencil markings uh, but I also don't really play the right instruments to do so ah fair enough do you like play the ba bass guitar or the drums or something like that? Now hold on, I'm guessing you don't play the drums because you said the other day that drum drums are insane. Uh, twos, so do, 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 twos, can't see any twos. I've got a pair of fours down here, so this four covers those two cells and that four locks a pair of fours down there. So with that I can lock another pair of fours there because I've got a pointer pair of fours and a four. I'm not going to go into too much explanation today because um, I'll be honest, I don't think people on my YouTube necessarily are interested in the medium Sudokus. Um, I think people are more interested in, in the hard Sudokus, so I naturally I'll be putting timestamps in the video so that people can jump straight to it. Um, so I've a pair of threes there because of these two threes. I'm a bit all over the place at the moment because I keep... Oh, there's another three here tucked away for a long time. Mostly woodwinds, so some sax flute and clarinet and some guitar bass piano for fun, but I'm not good at those. Wow, you're really multi-talented, aren't you? Working on another character that's 49 right now. Are you kidding? So are you working on another character than the operator that you were playing? That's crazy. How many characters? I mean, I can't. I'm not, um, I'm not one to talk because um, I used to play World of Warcraft and I think I had over four or five characters going at the same time as well, so I'm not really the one to, to speak. Uh, so this three, the point a pair of three, and that three locks a pair of threes there as well, so I've got threes tucked in those columns. I think that's all I can do with the threes though, so let's move on. Um, fours, four, 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 four. Five. Yeah, you are amazing, Juice. I'm always impressed by people who can play so many instruments because um, I can't even play a single one. The most I've done, <laughs> and you're going to like mock me for even mentioning this, I, um, I could play the drums on Guitar Hero when that came out. Because um, I was kind of like always interested in drums. One of my old housemates, she just decided to take um, drumming lessons. And she made loads of friends, and um, so when we used to hang out, like they all they all like interested in drums. But I think because they were learning to play the drums, that meant um, they got that enthusiasm. Oh yeah, there's a six over there as well because of these two sixes. Um, they've got like huge enthusiasm to talk about drumming all the time, and um, and they basically like got me interested in the idea of drumming. So when Guitar Hero came out. I decided uh, Guitar Hero 4 World Tour when that came out um, with the drum kit I just had to get it because I said hey you guys can play the drums and um, and then the rest of us can play other instruments and uh, but secretly I just wanted to try out the drums and uh, I just fell in love with it but um, without all the notes coming down from the screen I can't I can't play drums by heart basically and I also can't do rolling on the drums so one of my favourite songs ever long by Foo Fighters um, starts with like rolling on the hi-hat and <laughs> that always kills me. 
and then you have to like move between the hi hats and the and the snares as well while rolling at the same time, and it's just that just confu completely confused me. Yeah, this is a character I've been trying to keep keep a little ahead after one I'm streaming. Ah, I see. So you've got one that you're grinding and one that you're streaming with. That's very cool. I love the old Guitar Hero games. Yes, they were so much fun. It's a bit of a shame, like how um, you know how they kind of got a bit greedy and basically burst the bubble the way they released um, so many games at once, and then people just got tired of it so quickly. And there weren't really innovations; they just basically licensed a lot of a lot of music. And then they're... oh, hang on, that's not a nine. Got two nines there, but I've got a five seven pair in these two cells, so that must be a nine as well. So with that, I can now say that I can't do anything else because I was hoping to put a triple over here, but there isn't. Um, okay, so um, ah, but I do have a one four six triple here because one four and six seem to these three cells, so these must be triples as well. So um. I know Elaine watches Cracking the Cryptic, but um, I've not watched Cracking the Cryptic for a long time, I have to admit, because the Sudokus they do now are so cryptic and um, so complicated with um, the variants that I just, I couldn't keep up anymore, so I kind of like stopped watching them. But I remember, I think it's uh, Mark who said one of the most, one of the most common techniques that you can use in the um, New York Times Sudoku is to find hidden triples. So imagine that these three cells aren't populated. Do you look at this cage with the two, three and five? Well there are four numbers on the on the roll that is empty against this cage. Um and only one of the numbers overlap, so it's a three. But in his case actually, if I delete the three, even this scenario will work. Um so you've got three numbers in here which is diff with an empty roll and the empty roll points to an empty sorry it points to three different numbers than what's in the cage. That implies that there's a triple hidden here in these three cells because these three numbers can't live here and there are only three numbers left. So the hidden, these must be a triple, which means this is a triple as well in this case. So we've got three triples unlocked in this formation quite naturally. And not that you really need it in, um, oh, this is not a four, so this is one and six. One, four, and six, one, and four. So these are three, five, and two. So three must be here. So these must be twos and fives. And this would be the triple of eight, nine, and seven, I guess. So, and I've got eight and nine on that column. So that must be seven, and this must be eight and nine. Um, I haven't watched them in months, but I got really into them earlier this year. I'm not watching them right now, only because I want to do some of the pseudo-cues pseudo on stream. Ah, fair enough. Yeah. I remember the first Sudoku that I recorded myself doing was the um, the Miracle Sudoku. That is just so cool. I had to try it myself. Um, I did like, like a lot of the variant Sudokus because they are just by nature very... Um, with so many rules like the Miracle Sudokus, you can use kind of like actual just logic to, to figure them out. Uh, oh, I've got one, one, three, four triple here and I've got one and four, so this is a three. Um, I don't know why I'm like getting excited about finding these because I just remember this is a medium puzzle so it's not even that hard and um, these are ones and fours so let's carry on um, but yeah Cracking the Cryptic um, kind of taught me, Mark taught me that technique about finding those triples so um, but I really, I've never really, I've only ever used it twice I think and I think I used it once for a recording and then that was it. Um, this is a bit annoying because this column and this row share pretty much all the same numbers except for the eight. So that means there's no, there's not much information going on here. So um, let's just do another quick scan of numbers because um, I've not really been very disciplined on this. So twos and twos on this column. Oh, there's a pair of twos there because it is two, which means that's another pair of sevens and eights, which can be resolved because of the eight. And that seven unlocks the five and seven, and the five unlocks the five and three, and the three here. And I just realized something really amazing. 
which is nothing Sudoku related. This is now a sixth. I've not yet um, sneezed this morning. Um, I normally sneeze and sniffle all the time in the mornings and um, I've not done that. And I've been noticing that. Talking to you guys on Twitch seemed to stop me from sneezing. So I just feel like I have to keep talking and um, yeah. <laughs> Um, so these are ones and twos, and these are, let's see, these are sixes and sevens, and I've got, oh no, oh no, no, not six and seven, and um, these are ones and sixes, that makes more sense, I was worried that I've already broken the puzzle, hooray, I guess I'll keep coming back then, <laughs> as long as it's not at the expense of your sleeping patterns, because, um, yeah, I know it's quite late for you, and, um, I always worry about other people. I'm like um, everybody's aunt. I just feel like I have to tell them to be healthy, tell them to sleep well, exercise, and eat well. Um, so we've got freeze and free there. Um, but the thing, that, the thing that I forget a lot is um, I always assume that I'm the oldest person in the room because um, I was for... I love my life actually because um, I, I think only one of my old one of my old housemates was um, the same age as me but I'm, I was older than all my other housemates so yeah so I'm just kind of like used to being old but on the internet you don't know how old everybody are for all I know you guys well I know Juice is definitely not older than me judging by your sound look age doesn't really matter but I just kind of like I think it's just like a, a thing that I'm, I became conscious of because of um, kind of always being the oldest person in the room. Kind of, I don't know, I guess I took pride in it for some silly reason. So I could play like, I could play auntie, play mother with people. Yes, that's true. Maybe you just have a young voice. I don't know that. Uh, so, eights and nines on the bottom row, but I can't see anything else. With the eights and nines. Eights and nines. Hold on, there's a pair here, so this must be a triple as well. So these are twos and. One day I'll be able to just scan the column and immediately be able to tell what the remaining digits are. But the nine unlocks the eight and nine up there, and the eight, I believe, unlocks a pair of eights there, and I've only got ones remaining. So this now has to be. Oh no, I thought that has to be a one, but it doesn't. So let's see. Um, anything going on in this cage? Um, I'm missing a one and a six. So nothing going on there. So six is over there. No, I can't see anything else. So um, got a pair of nines over here. Um, so what else is here? Eights are down here. One, four, six, and nine. So I've got six there. Oh, I've got four and six there. So this is one and nine. Uh, but do I want to pencil mark them in? I don't think I do, actually. So let's look at this triple. That is probably going to be useful. So these are twos, um, twos, eights, and nines. So nines have to go up here, which means nothing, actually, because eights can go in all three cells. Oh. Oh, dear. This is rather challenging as a medium puzzle. I'm surprised I haven't solved this yet. So, okay. Admittedly, I still haven't been scanning properly. So I'm going to scan backwards from 9 to 1 because um, I keep, like, scanning upwards from 1 to one to 9 and then just kind of stopping for no reason. So I know 8 are tucked in these two rows. 7, 7, 7, 7. Seven, six, sixes are down here, can't do anything with them, no other sixes in play, five, oh, so maybe it wasn't the fact that I haven't spotted something obvious, it's just that um, there isn't actually anything to unlock yet, fours are still in three different places in this cage, and yeah, so we actually have to break out our big guns, and um, solve this properly. Uh, twos, 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 twos. Twos are here as well. Ah, so these are two, eight, and nine. There we go. That's the break. Oops. 
that's the breakthrough that we needed. Um, so with that, that can't be a three anymore. So that unlocks the three and the five. And that five unlocks a two and five, which takes out the twos over here. What about the three? Three unlocks the three over here. So all the threes and fives are now done. That's looking a bit more promising. So I've got one, four, six, triple here. This is one and four. One and six can't resolve that yet. I've got another triple here, which is one, seven, and six. One, six, and seven. Well, sixes have to go over there because of that six. And I already have a pointer pair of seven, so the seven's locked in there. So therefore, this is actually a one, which locks a pair of ones over there. And if this is a triple, then this must be a triple as well. And they are sixes. And in fact, I can lock the six in there. So four, seven are unlocked as well, which unlocks the one and six. And therefore, these are ones as well. So this must unlock now. So eight and nine pair here, which means this must be a four. Remember to breathe. Um, so one and four and one. So four and six and seven and six and seven, seven, eight and one, one and two and two and, oh no, that's, I nearly put an eight in there. So I don't know what that is yet, but I, oh, no, this isn't a two. So that's a two and we have one and seven remaining. So one, nine because uh, I saw a 1 over there. So now that 9 resolved to 8 and 9 and 8 and 9. So this can't be a 7, so this is 7 and 8. And that's today's medium New York Times Sudoku. So I need to stop like saying run-on sentences when I do Sudokus following the logic because um, I, nearly, I nearly passed out from just um, that run-on sentence. So let's do hard. And um, let's do today's New York Times Hard Sudoku. Um, that's my little intro snip. So when I do my YouTube um, skipping, I can um, pad it out a little bit rather than um, just jumping straight to the puzzle. So one, I've only got a single one. So let's, um, I know it's a bit early, but let's have a look at this cell to see, oh no, this at least a three and four. I'm just quickly trying to find a naked single which I don't think we're going to have. One, two, three, five, six, eight, nine. So this is four and seven. Okay. So let's look at twos. I've got a pair of twos there because of these twos and that two. You both are going to need a brief channel point on up. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So these are twos. Um, threes. Um, three, 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 three. Can't see anything with threes, even though it's not particularly weak. I've got a pair of fours there truck just drove by um i always love to announce the fact that oh yeah i've got a car coming by oh the bin man is here um got a pair of fives there because of these two fives so does that help my quest to solve this sudoku not yet but these two sixes are six up there so what else does it do um got a pair of sixes there as well because these two sixes which locks another pair of sixes. And I think that's the end of sixes that I can see. Now, I wonder if there's a triple here because four and seven both seem to those two cells. Um, no, there isn't a triple. So seven, um, seven is locked in here. So there's a pair of sevens there. Seven, now sevens are locked in these two rows on both these two cages. Therefore it has to be on row one in the middle cage. I've got a seven there blocking that. And in fact, these two sevens locks a pair of sevens there as well. So sevens, that sort of sevens. Eights, um, eights are locked in these three cells. No, eight is a pair because of this eight and that eight. So that locks a seven, eight pair, which gives me four and four and five, which can be resolved because I've got a five here already. So does this four give me joy? Um, not quite, but I know the four is there. What about the five? Five I already knew. They are not locked down there, so nothing else yet. Okay, let's go back to the eight. Eight, eight. So yeah, sorry if I'm not super chatty at the moment. I'm just trying to 
do my YouTubers good by do my YouTubers right by making sure I focus on a Sudoku a little bit uh, to keep the videos a bit more succinct and um, short. Got a pair of nines there because of these nines and that nine. And um, let's see. Okay, so that's all the all the nines. So I've done one round of notations. What I like to do now is have a look at the weak areas. So these are threes. I've got a triple of three, seven, and eight, and eight there. So I often find it useful to pencil mark them in because, um, for instance, if this cell couldn't have been a three, then I could have locked a three in the in the middle column. But not in this instance. Now it's the ones more powerful. It's the one more powerful now that I fill some numbers in. Um, I don't think it is really. So no, let's leave it for now. Um, instead, let's look at this column. I've got a quadruple, so these are three, six, eight, and one. One, three, so eight can't go there. What about three? One, one just can't go there. And that's six. Six can't go here, but it can go in these two cells. So I've got no parities going on. I think it's parities. I hear Simon and Mark use that word a lot on cracking the cryptic, but um, I think there's like some sort of relationship going on with the cells, is um, what I meant. Um, this column is 1, 2, 9, and 1, 2, 3, and 9. Okay, I have a feeling I should look at where the 1 and 3, oh, the no overlaps with the 1 and 3 is there. Except for these two cells, because I think 1s and 3s are both weak. Um, so maybe actually, if I focus on a three, can I maybe find a naked one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? So this is one and eight. Um, so I haven't quite got anything out of it. Um, I don't think anything else on this roll is useful. So four, seven. Oh, but I've already got a six in here. So actually, what about this cell? Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh no, I haven't got nine. That would be the problem. So either I get an eight or a nine. Okay, so maybe I need to do another round of notations, but before I do, let's have a look at this roll. I've got three, seven, one, one, three, one, three, four, and seven. I've got three and seven there, so that's a one and four. I've got three there as well. So haha, hang on. Three and seven. That can't be three and seven. That can't be three, but it can be a seven. So that's no use actually. So one, three, seven, one, three, four, and seven. And um, that can't be a four. Actually, this can't be a seven. I oh. Okay. Is that something to celebrate on? This can't be a seven actually, because I've already got the sevens locked in. So what does that mean? It has to mean something. This can't be a seven or a four. Oh, so it means it's a one and three. That's no use actually. Uh, one and four. Oh yeah, I got it. I got excited for nothing. Sorry. Uh, what about here? I've got one, two. Um, one, two, five, and nine. Oh, two, five, and nine. Seasons. No, it's not nine. One, two, five, and eight. Okay. Whew. I was trying to sneeze. Um, so, so far, I still haven't broken the streak of not sneezing, but the streak of not sniffling, not blowing my nose, is officially over because um, I've definitely got the sniffles, so I need to find... Where did I put my box of tissues? There it is. Just gonna blow my nose quickly, so apologies for the disgusting noise. Ah, there we go. Um, okay, so um, what was this again? One, one, two, one, two, eight, one, two, one, two, five, and eight. So this is two and five, so one and eight. Um, yeah, there's nothing else going on, so I've just been wasting a lot of time when I should probably have been looking at the pencil markings again. Um, 
unless there's just something that I can do with the one which I'm skeptical of. And this is missing a two and five at the very least. Oh, there's another column here. Two, nine. One, two, one, three, one, two, three, and nine. So this is one and three. Um, no, two and nines are not at all. So, but that can't be two or nine. No, I'm just having a quick look at the, ah, there we go. Got something. So this is um, another technique that I learned from another YouTuber and it has paid off. So if we look at this two and nine um, candidate, um, if we can find another two and nine, then we've got ourselves a matching pair. So what have we got? Well, this can't be two and nine on this row. Two and nine can't be in these two cells because I've got two and nine in this cage. And that only leaves that cell. Um, so that has to be a two and nine because neither two nor nine can go in these three cells. So this must be part of the two nine pair. And, um, and it can't see a two or nine. So that pushes the six out. So I can solve the six now. Unlock this pair of sixes. And if these are twos and nines, I'm not gonna pencil mark in just yet because um, I'm more interested in the triple that is unlocked. So this is now one, six, and one, four, and six. Um, can I do anything with that? I can't. Okay, so. This is a two and nine. Can I do another two and nine pair on this? Um, I don't think I can. Okay, so I've only unlocked a six, but it may be useful. For instance, it also unlocks a five because of the two fives and anything else. And now it unlocks a pointer pair of eight, which unlocks the seven and eight. So now, Seven. seven is locked in here and that un unlocks another seven, another seven, another seven. So all the sevens are suddenly done. So that's how much I've managed to do with that two and nine. And I've not even finished yet because um, there are probably more things I can do. I've got another triple here, which is um, one, two. Well, this can't be a two, nor that. So the two is actually up here because I've got a two in the cage and a two on that roll. So this is now a one and one and three. So that's no longer a two. That's a two because of the two columns being taken, which means this is a one, eight and seven triple. But I've got, oh no. <laughs> Again, there's something about me and the grayed out cells that um, I just misread them. It's one, eight and nine, so nines there so that can no longer be a nine which unlocks the nine there so now i've got another triple going on but i've got a pointer pair of threes there so three must go in this cell because i've got three and a pointer pair of threes so that locks another three over here and now i'm left with ones and ones and fours well that can't be a one because of the pointer triple so that unlocks another one so finally ones are no longer weak um, and that must be a four, which unlocks another four. The puzzle is basically done, I believe. So um, these are ones and ones and fives. Um, I might have celebrated too soon though, because um, I bet now suddenly I'm gonna find I'm still stuck on a puzzle. Uh, but let's persist. Uh, got a pair of twos there, but that can't be a two, because this two forms a pair of twos, pointed the pair of twos there, ruling out this roll. So that's another two unlocked, and I'm left with two sets of twos, threes, um, three, 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 three. Can't do anything else with the three, so fours. Um, I'm just going to have a quick sip of water. <sighs> okay, so fours are no good. So that leaves me with fives. That also doesn't unlock anything. Six. Six, six is locked in there, and nothing else. Sevens are done. Eight, 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 eight. Eight are locked in these cells. Also not useful. Yeah, this would be too soon, didn't I? Because um, the puzzle is not, it's not over yet. I've just done nine. 
Okay, so I've scanned from one to nine, but I need to remember that... Um, did I start from ones when I did the scan just now? I think I did actually, so maybe maybe I need to do some more to unlock this puzzle actually, because if I did scan from one to nine just now, then that means I haven't unlocked any new information just yet. So I'm just confirming I definitely did a scan from one to nine. Um, yes, I think I did. Okay, so that means they're more fun to be had with um, this puzzle. What have we got? We have a quadruple on this roll. Have we got any triples? I've got a pair of ones and eights. I do know that, but um, I don't think I can do anything with it because whilst this is not a one and eight, I can't really restrict the one and eight anywhere else. Um, so on the columns, oh, no, that's another quadruple. So now I'm just taking tally. So I've only got quadruples on the um, in the puzzle, so I'm going to have to look at them, aren't I? So fours and six. Uh, nope, nothing on fours and six. So let's see. This is one, four, six, and eight. So I've got four, six, and eight there, which means this has to be a one. So now I'm left with four, six, and eight. Okay, four, six, and eight. I've got six there. I don't have a six here. Actually, should I do something with the ones? Because it unlocks a pair of ones there, and the ones are locked over there. Uh, not super useful for our purposes. Um, okay, but at least, um, well, it also unlocks um, another triple, which is two, nine, and two, three, and nine. Right? Yep, two, three, and nine. Okay, so, um, I've got nine there, so this is two and three. Yeah, I can't unlock the two, three, and nine there. So, thank you for your service, one, but we're not quite there yet. So let's um, look at other quadruples. So I think I've got some of the columns. I've got a quadruple here, which is one, three, four, and one, three, four, and seven. I've got four and seven there, so this is one and three. In fact, I've got, um, oh no, I, I'm not looking for a seven. Got a seven on a con, for God's sake. Come on, Alex, do it properly. So one, three, four, and six. That's why I'm after. One, three, four, and six. No, I've got a six on the column. What am I looking for? One, three, four. One, three, four, and five. That's the one. I keep miscounting, and miscounting is really deadly because um Yeah, well, it just is. Uh, oh, actually this four unlocks this point a pair of fours anyway. So I don't know how I missed that. Uh, this is four benefits us. Well, now it's a triple of one, three, and... Oh, hang on. No, sorry. I was thinking of one, three, and six again. It's one, three, and five. So this can't be a one, but I've got no... F oh, this can't be one or a five, so this must be a three, which means these are ones, ones and fives, and... Is that interesting or not? One and five. Because I know I can't put one and fives over there or there. But unless I can make it a triple, that one and five can't form anything interesting in this row here, really. So, uh, and a three doesn't unlock anything over there. It does unlock a three down here, though. So these two threes unlocks a three down there. So now I've got threes locked in these two cells. So they're on columns 7 and 9 in two separate cages, which means they have to be here, but that's got to be the 3. Also, it pushes the 2 out and the 9, because of the 3, 9 pair, it pushes the 9 out, but I could actually deduce where the 3 is. So that's unlocked another 9, which means 9s are now tucked over there, and... Oh, there's a pointer pair of 9 there, though, because of this 9 and that 9. So I can even resolve this 9, leaving me... Two sets of nines, so that's good. Um, so let's have a look at this triple. This is a pair of fours there, which means that must be a four, because I've got fours locked in rows fours and five in two separate cages, so there must be a four in this row, which means that's now the six, because that's the only number left on the row, and that six doesn't give us anything else. No, it doesn't. So what about a four? 
nothing else going on with the four. Um, oh, I'm curious now. One, eight, one, five. One, five and eight. Well, this can't be one or a five, so that must be an eight. So this can't be a five either. So that's a, oops, that's a five, that's a one. And that's a one as well. So that unlocks another one. Can I finish the ones now? Well, I can finish this eight. And um, no, can't finish the one just yet. But I can place another five in here. And this five unlocks another five there, five there, which unlocks the, ooh, an entire chain in the cage. Um, so hang on, let me just explain what I just did. Um, this five locked, unlocked a five there, which erased a three, which erased a one. Oh, hang on, it was that cell, wasn't it? So that one erased a six, and that six erased a two. So that's how I resolved the entire cage immediately. So one and nine there, and that's a nine, and this is a eight, an eight. Um, I've got an eight over here somewhere. These are fours and sixes. I've got six there, so four, six, and four are resolved. That leaves me three and eight, and that three unlocks the eight and the three, which unlocks the eight and six. And that's today's... New York Times hard Sudoku with no um, hilarity, I guess, uh, with no disastrous um, progression. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm not, yeah, I'm totally not articulate at all. 